All right, so in this video, I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the Better Days collaboration from New Balance and Bodega. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals that I post for you guys, check my website in the description. You can always go to Collective Kicks and see what I post as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram both. Big shout out to Bodega for sending these over my way. I did a haul video recently and I showed that they sent these over and I figured I'd do a detailed, uh, dedicated video for you guys that are interested in this. And this is the Bodega New Balance 997S and it is the Better Days collaboration. Previously they had a No Days Off colorway and a No Bad Days colorway and this one is called uh, Better Days which is obviously really, really fitting for 2020 in general. I mean this is a fitting release for this year. First things first, you can take a look at the box. It says the NB Bodega uh, collaboration on the box and it says MS997JBO and the size that they sent me is a 9.5 inch by true to size and they do fit true to size in my opinion. Uh, the price point on this one is $160. So inside the box there's a couple extra things. First thing is better days ahead. As you can see it says better days are on the way. It also says this coming September 25th, Bodega will be releasing its third and final 997S New Balance collaboration, the Bodega Better Days. Release continues to celebrate the innovative designs of the 997s that Bodega popularized with its introduction to the market in 2018. We wanted you to have an early sneak peek of the highly anticipated limited edition release. Thanks for being a part of the journey. We appreciate the support. I appreciate it, Bodega. Thank you for sending these out to me. Like I said in my unboxing video, I live in Portland, Oregon, where home of Nike, Jordan Brand, and Adidas, and I'm not even on their seed list. So when we have a Boston company like Bodega reaching out, and asking if uh, if they can send me something, I'm like, absolutely, that'd be awesome. I didn't know what they'd be sending and when, but this was what they uh, they went with, and I really, really like this colorway. And for those that think this might be my first pair of New Balances, this is three of them. I have two more in the garage as well, but I do have some 998s. This one I customized and made it like an Oregon State colorway. Then this is the colorway that I made. It's supposed to be the Sea and Sky colorway, inspired by Hawaii. I love the way that this one came out, it's another 998. This one I made from New Balance's website when you can customize your shoes. I'm not sure if you can still do them, at least this model. I need to actually go back and check. But I did the 998 in that um, crazy blue combination. Really, really love this one that I did. And then I've also been testing New Balance out from the like performance and like running sneaker side of things. So this is a fuel cell. But I also have the 1080 V10, which is my favorite shoe of the year thus far. If you haven't tried it from a comfort perspective, if you really like the Adidas Ultra Boost, Try the 1080 V10. I'll link it in the description. It's 150 bucks. Hands down, my favorite shoe of the year. I'll have an after wearing like for three months video. It's just one of my favorites that they've had. I also have a pair of 990 V5s that I wear, skateboarding and biking and stuff like that that are also in the garage. So I don't have a ton of New Balance, but the ones that I do have, I really, really like. A lot of the legacy models have a nice runner feel to them. Also, New Balance has a lot of wider size selection available too for those people that have wider feet like myself. The overall quality of this shoe for the $160 is really, really good, especially for a collaboration. I would have expected to see a $200 or $220 price tag, honestly, on here. But we'll start off in the front. The toe cap area has a wavy design and it's like in a darker gray colorway. On the toe box area, you have a cream chalk mesh material. Then you work your way up the sides of the shoe and it's more of a tan color next to the New Balance logo and like a rubberized yellow on the outside of the shoe. But if you go to the inside of the shoe, it's actually like a napped suede and then you can see a New Balance logo in purple and black. One second. Yo, what's up? I love you guys. Drive safe home and I'll see you guys soon. Alright. Okay, I'm just recording a video right now. Okay, alright, we'll see you soon. Okay, love you. Drive safe. Please drive safe. Hopefully they drive safe home. It's a little windy out. Wildfires in California. It feels like they're affecting up here a little bit. Uh, just with some smoke and stuff and wind, it's kind of crazy. The, the world is crazy right now, obviously. We need better days ahead. So, like I was saying, the soft suede on the outside Napped suede on the inside with that purple and black New Balance logo. And maybe there's some storytelling on that too, I'm not really sure, but it's kind of like symbolic in a sense where you have rough suede on one side and smooth on the other. Maybe that means there's better days ahead. I don't really know. Maybe I'm looking way, way too far and reaching super far in this. The back panel of the shoe is like a texturized like neoprene sort of material. And then on the other panel, it's actually soft, but they don't make the texture on the same side of the shoe. There's texture on this side, there's texture back here. So I don't know, I think it's kind of uh, interesting. I like the, the different elements that they have 
uh, to put the shoe together. You have that gray colorway in like a plastic TPU material uh, for the laces up here. And then also through the tongue area, it's an attached tongue that has that same pink uh, coloring on it. Then down at the bottom of the laces, you have like a brown nap suede. It says bodega sideways up the middle of the tongue and then you have a New Balance logo in all sorts of crazy colors. It's purple and greenish yellow and it has an orange lightning bolt through the middle of the New Balance logo. Another thing that they did that was kind of cool is they flip flop the colors of the tongue and the heel cup. The reverse side of the tongue is actually done in a gray color and that piping continues all the way around the back of the shoe but the inside of the collar is actually done in a purple material. On the outside of the heel you have like this chocolate waffle cone suede material that's kind of crazy looking. And then it does say embroidered 997S. The midsole is done in a bunch of different creative colors that helps tie everything together. You have two tones of gray and a cream color with some paint splatter on it. A little hit of purple in here from the cushioning. It says absorb in the back in that neon green yellow color. And then more cream color on the inside with no paint splatter. Even on the bottom they mix things up. It's a dark gum sole in the back, a lighter gum sole in the front, and then cream through that foam cushioning in the middle. The insoles of the shoe are really dope too. It has that same guy on the horse as what's on the postcard. And I really like this little extra postcard that they created for it. It kind of helps create the vision of what's going on here. And lastly, they came with a couple extra sets of laces. There is a like a darker green color and then a purple and yellow dotted one and then the kind of bone colored one that comes. So I like that they included a couple extra laces. They definitely will go with the theme of the shoe, which is just a hodgepodge of crazy color combinations of the shoe, which I really like. They did the same sort of vibe on the other two collaborations that they did in this series, and they all look like they're part of a series. This one has a little bit more salmon pinkish color than the previous one that had like blue, it looks like. And it's really cool to be able to see like Bodega and New Balance, Boston local um, companies just collaborating on a shoe like these again. I'm sure we'll see more collabs between them in the future, but this is the last of the series it sounds like. Leave your comments in the comment section. What do you guys think about the Bodega Better Days collaboration? Where does it rank on your list of collaborations this year? I think it's a really well done collaboration with a bunch of cool colors. And they executed something that, uh, that I really like. So thank you Bodega again for sending me over a pair. Uh, didn't expect it and super happy that you guys did. Definitely something I'm going to be rocking and just a fun colorway to add to the collection. If you guys are trying to buy a pair, it sounds like September 25th in Bodega's site. I'll try to link that in the description as well. Uh, but good luck to those people that are trying to cop. It sounds like it might be a little bit limited. If you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and uh, watching the video. Appreciate you guys for doing that. Have a good rest of the day though. Hopefully we'll see you guys back for more videos soon. Peace guys.